Hello, I'm Dr. Zanakis. If you have hand or finger pain, numbness, or tingling, you might have carpal tunnel syndrome. I'm going to show you some tests that you can do on yourself to determine if you do have this painful condition or not. They're the same tests that doctors use in their office to determine if you have this condition, and they're much better than the other tests like MRI or EMG because they don't give the false positives that the other tests do. These are extremely accurate tests. They're called provocative tests because they provoke the symptoms that you have. The first test is called the Phelan test. Now in the Phelan test, what you do is you make a loose fist and then you bend your hand down as much as you can. You can even use your other hand to push down on it and hold this position for one minute. And if you feel the pain, numbness, and tingling in your hand and fingers, that's a positive sign for carpal tunnel syndrome. The next test is called the Durkin test. In the Durkin test, what you do is you see these two bumps on your wrist here. Take your other hand the thumb of your other hand and push as hard as you can in between those bumps. Push really, really hard and hold that for one minute. And again, if it reproduces the pain, numbness and tingling, whatever symptoms you have in your hand and fingers, again, that's a positive sign for carpal tunnel syndrome. The final test is called the Tinell test. And in the Tinell test, you locate your wrist crease, which is right about here, and use your other finger and tap really hard in that area. Tap really, really hard. And do this for about 30 seconds. And if that tapping reproduces the pain, the numbness and tingling in your hand, again, that's another positive sign for carpal tunnel syndrome. Generally, if you have two of those three tests giving you positive signs, then you probably have carpal tunnel syndrome. But if only one test gave you some positive signs, and even then it wasn't that, that positive, you might have another hand condition going on. And I have another video to show you how to do tests for those conditions as well. Thanks a lot.